How's it going YouTube? Uh, this video I'm going to show you how to replace the AC compressor on a Subaru. This is a 2005 Forester. There are a lot of different ones out there. Uh, they're all pretty similar. Um, so hopefully you'll find some value in this. So what happened here on my Forester is uh, my AC compressor seized. Uh, this was a used reman unit I bought uh, on eBay. You see the clutch still allows to the pulley to turn, however the compressor itself is flat seized. So we'll get into some of the issues that that causes and um, problems with that. Um, so one thing I'd like to note here is that I've already had the system evacuated. So I've had the vacuum pulled, the refrigerant's been recovered, so I can actually undo the refrigerant lines. And in fact, I'll do that right now so you can see what that looks like. Here's your low pressure line. This is the return of the compressor. And underneath is your high pressure line. Now, we'll get into what's going on here, but we're gonna end up having to do an AC flush uh, because you can see there is what they call the black death. So this is particulate from the compressor probably eroding itself, which has distributed itself in the system. And that's gonna be a problem for any new compressor that we put in. So we're gonna have to flush the system to get rid of that. Uh, it's unlikely we'll get it all out, but we can get it out enough to actually do something about this. All right, uh, next step I, I do is to disconnect the battery. You don't really have to do this, but it allows me to disconnect this alternator line without too much trouble. It just makes things generally easier. So if you're wondering why there's no AC belt on here, that's because when the compressor seized, uh, the belt tore itself up and I found the carcass underneath the hood. So luckily no other damage was done. drives me crazy to have to remove electrical connectors this way because they're plastic and Phoenix they can get pretty difficult to remove. There we go. 
Okay, so now we've got most of the stuff out of the way, but let's go ahead and get the high pressure line out of the way as well. I think that'll just aid us. So this disconnects. Kind of hard to see, but down here from the condenser. Again, it's not absolutely required. There's probably plenty better mechanics than me that don't need to remove the interference. But I find it's helpful to be able to just get in and work on what you need to without encumbrance. another shot of the this should look silver it's got black particulate all over it so definitely we're in for uh, we're in for cleaning the system up a bit before we put a new compressor in it things I like about working on a Subaru is uh, generally you can do just about everything with a 10, 12, or a 14 millimeter wrench. You know, there's the odd 17 or 19 as well, but most everything is done with that. You don't find 13 very often um, on a Subaru, but it's possible. So the compressor is held on, it's kind of difficult, but there's four bolts that come to the bracket from the side, and I um, need to get those out, and technically it's actually only held in with three of those bolts, but one of them's a metal piece that uh, is kind of challenging to get to, so you got to kind of get that loosened so you can actually have a chance of getting the others out. Probably put these in last time way tighter than I actually needed to as is my style. is out back one is out we just got to get the upper out
see. Compressor is out. 